and the opportunity to compete with the best. And you know, it's an opportunity for us to learn that you know Alabama is a great champion. Uh, they made the championship play down the stretch, and the game comes down to just a few plays, and they made it more competitive play there. The kids responded from adversity all season, lost the lead. They, they responded again tonight. How much does this give? Help this team moving forward. It's so young to learn from this, not just the loss, but to be able to fight back, take the say, take the lead, like happened several right. times. Be, be, because they get to experience, it's not just lip service from the coaches. Sure. You know, you always want to preach, don't ever quit, don't ever give up. But they've seen evidence that when you don't give up, when you keep fighting, you know, good things are bound to happen. You know, obviously, we came up on the short end tonight, but you know, in everything, there's a learning opportunity. I told my guys that that you got to find a joy in every situation. I know it's tough right now. Uh, you're feeling dejected. You know, you let you left everything on the field, you didn't get the desired outcome, but at the end of the day, there's a lesson that needs to be learned, and you got to take a joyous approach so that you can learn that lesson, or else you're not going to you're not gonna be able to, to respond and rebound from it. It's some of the season, and obviously you can't lose one game short, but everything you guys have accomplished, you know, take it all in, if you can absorb it, and come to the board. You know, it's tough right now, you know, obviously, because, you know, my biggest concern is just feeling for the seniors, you know, because they, they, they transform Clemson. You know what they what they were able to accomplish over their career, and this year, you know they've they've put us back into the into the national spotlight. You know to be to be you know championship contenders year in and year out uh, going forward. So you know really hurting for them. We'll sit back uh, you know in a couple weeks and we'll celebrate the season with our seniors, send them off uh, the right way, and I think that's when we'll be able to put in perspective. You know what we've been able to uh, to accomplish this year. Thanks, Coach. Tony, what does it say about your team that you have 40 some odd freshmen and? You made it all the way to the national championship and, and made a really good game of it. You know, it's just uh, just a testament to recruiting. You know, we've been able to recruit and, 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 and just strength and conditioning, just a total program, having those guys coming in and, and being ready to play. But, you know, this is a great learning opportunity for them. You know, obviously they experienced a lot of success, but then they also came up uh, to shorten this opportunity. And so it's an opportunity to grow and give them the motivation to go back to work. And then it further validates what we tell them, that it comes down to a few plays. You know, you want to be a championship team, you got to make the championship plays. And, and hats off to Alabama. You know, they, they made the championship plays, you know, in crunch time, and we came up a little bit short. How surprising was it for you guys when they did the onside kick? You know, obviously, uh, you know, he made a call. Yeah. You know, hats off to, to Coach Shaver. He made the right call at the right time, and, you know, they executed it perfectly. Um, and, uh, you know, I wasn't out on the field, so I couldn't tell how the uh, how the momentum turned. But uh, but obviously, you know, you get you get frustrated, you know, as a coach because you don't want to get caught in that situation. But then the next thing is, hey boys, a lot of time left. Move on to the next play. You know, because even with the opportunity to get the get the kick, they got the onside kick. You still got an opportunity to stop it. So you got to focus on stopping them. And then when you didn't, we got the ball. We got to go score. You know, so you don't really have time to to, to feel a certain kind of way other than hey, it's on to the next play. Right. I'm sure you've been in that situation yourself many times as a coach. How hard is the decision do you think that what that was, and especially the, you know, the national championship? You know, that's that's a big time, big time call. You know, and Coach Sweeney made the same call uh, versus uh, versus South Carolina two years ago. You know, at our place. And, uh, and unfortunately, you know, they they, fair, they threw up a fair catch signal, so they were given, you know, the opportunity to catch it. You know, my guy was trying to scramble to get the ball. I don't know if he gave a, a fair catch or signal or not, so we didn't have an opportunity to catch it. What can you say about the way Deshaun Watts performed? You know, it's the same way he's performed all year. You know, he's a warrior. He loves to compete. I think he performs, you know, the, the, the bigger the stage, you know, the harder he fights, the more competitive that he gets. Uh, and he's just, you know, he's the reason that we're here. You know, he's the leader of our offense along with the offensive line, and he competed, and, you know, he wasn't going to be denied. And unfortunately, the scoreboard says that, that we came up short, but very proud of how everybody competed. Uh, he was the leader out there, and I think they followed his lead, and, and, and that's why, you know, we, we, we were there in the end, just came up short.